So basically, what we do, this is the first step to ensure product safety of cannabis. We first visually inspect for any external pests such as uh, mites or aphids, any other creepy crawlies. Um, and then we dissect the, the flower and look internally for any mold, mildew, or any other uh, pests that hide deeper. Nice and turby, nice smelly. It's uh, pretty nice product. It's very clean. There's not very much plant material. Don't see any hairs. That's the main thing that we're looking for um, when we examine the extracts is for hairs or foreign material. Um, once the state mandates microbial testing, we've had one, maybe two um, customers uh, ask for microbial testing of extracts, but for by and large, the main uh, contaminants of extracts are residual solvents and foreign material. So this was a leaf that a client brought in to have it examined microscopically for uh, powdery mildew. It, we, we were able to find under the microscope that it was colonized with powdery mildew. Um, powdery mildew isn't necessarily one of the, the most uh, concerning pathogens. The one that we are most concerned with, Aspergillus, is the only microbe that's been tied with a marijuana-related death. There was an in immune-compromised individual in California, but still, we cannot let cannabis with, that's been tainted with, with Aspergillus pass through. This is an edible that has been fully homogenized so that we make sure that we get a representative sample of the cannabinoid content. It used to be four pretty little candies. Now it's uh, this mess of homogenate. Um, really, we're just making sure that these edibles contain as many cannabinoids as they're advertised.